waking up in the morning sucks is because your bed is so comfortable. So I was thinking, why not make an alarm clock that makes your bed a little bit less comfortable? Because it slaps you in the face. For those of you who have an attention to detail, this window is round and there's actually water out there because I live on a houseboat. So that's not as cool as you think it is, but that's for another video. Basically what I did was that I got this rubber hand and I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I had it slap me in the face? And let's hope it doesn't look like a really weird porn shoot. And it kind of does, but I guess that's okay mom and dad. This arm is just like a Halloween prop and this was what it looked like before. Uh, I like cleaned it with nail polish. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a lot less bloody and I also cut off this like terrible cut off limb. Because I thought just having like something slap you in the face to wake you up is terrifying enough without it having to look like this. So what I did was I picked apart this alarm clock. Clocks are not made for picking apart because there are so many small parts. They just kind of flew all over the place and now the clock isn't working anymore. But it did work. And basically what I saw was that whenever the alarm went off, it had like this little switch that went off and um, grounded another connection. So I just put uh, one of the wires goes to ground and then I have one of those to that little pad that got grounded whenever the alarm went off And then I'm just reading that signal with an Arduino Uno and I'm having the Arduino Uno control this relay that starts this motor this is a motor from Servo City, uh, and they have like these really nice parts. And I tried to get Servo City to sponsor me, but they were like, no. <laughs> but I still want to put it in there. These parts are freaking awesome because they have like this these actobotics. They're just aluminum, and they're really easy to just like put stuff together. And it's super sturdy, way sturdier than I normally build stuff. And this motor is like it's pretty strong. It's 165 rounds per minute, and it has, I think it's stall current is like 20 amps. So before I started using this relay right here, I burnt up a fair amount of transistors. There's nothing that makes you feel as competent as the smell of burning electronics. You're like, good job, Simone. You got the situation under control and you're burning shit up. I was kind of hoping to just find like a normal transistor that, that could provide enough current for this one and that would still be able to be controlled from a microcontroller like the Arduino Uno, but I think that was a fool's errand because there is no such transistor. Or maybe there is, but then please share it in the comments because I haven't been able to find it. This is just a box for band-aids. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty terrible construction. These are just like normal, like, what do you say in English? El Jan in Swedish. I really don't want to talk my projects down because they're kind of like the children I never had. They're their uterus. Simone, you're 25, get a grip. Let's transition into the wake up machine working right now. The wake up machine. This is such a fucking mess. Oh, fuck this robot. Big time. Well, that's an improvement. <laughs> this is serious. I'm, I don't know how to get myself out of this shit. Ouch. Oh gosh. I <laughs> can't. 
getting slapped in the face with a plastic arm to wake up was actually not as painful as it might look. Probably more humiliating than painful, actually. I really hope you like this video and this project. If you do, I suggest you press the like button and also that you subscribe to my channel where I'm gonna publish a lot more fun projects like these. And if you didn't like this video and you're like, ah, I want my time back, then I'll just be like, no. You can't have your time back because now it's mine. And I just snorted it. <laughs>